What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. It's your girl Janice. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and join the family. As you can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, I am going to be hitting Isaiah where it hurts. I'm going to be telling Isaiah today that he is not going to be a good father. Guys, Isaiah the other day pranked me, telling me I'm not going to be a good wife. And honestly, that got me thinking, how can I get him back with something that you know hits him hard and I figured out what to do so guys Isaiah right now is making himself hot chocolate I already have a second camera set up in the living room and I'm basically going to be telling him that he's not gonna be a good father and we are going to see his reaction so guys if you are ready for today's video don't forget to smash that like button and comment to Janice in the comment section below if you think this one is a savage prank because I think so let's get it I was gonna ask if you make your hot chocolate, but I, clearly he's trying to with the cup. No, no. Baby, you trying to drink that as hot chocolate? I shouldn't put this right here, right? No, you shouldn't. It'll spill. You know how much he jumps all over the place? It's balanced though. No, put it on the floor. Sure. Put it on the floor. It's fine. He's not gonna drink anything. It's covered. He gonna put his dog slobber all over he it. He always does. He got that caca mouth. Um, what's it called? So the other day, remember when like we were talking about how you know you thought I was pregnant or whatever when I did that prank on you? Yeah, I, re I remember. Yes, <laughs> I do. Thank you for bringing it back up. And like I see how you are with boop, and I was just thinking like I feel like you're really not gonna be that good of a father, Loki. Why would you say that? <laughs> Cause like I don't know, like I was sitting here thinking about it, and I'm like. I feel like you don't enjoy like anything. You know what I mean? What like do you I mean? feel like you just don't get excited for stuff. Like ever. what? Like for example, for like his birthday and stuff, I feel like you don't get as excited as I do. Bro, I was so excited. What are you talking about? I went and got him a little cake and everything. Got no, him a treat. I, I got said... him a treat for his birthday. What? Yeah, I got it, not you. But what does it matter, like, who bought it? At the end of the day, we both had the idea to do it. Yeah, but here's my thing. Like, I just feel like I'm more enthusiastic and stuff like that. And I also feel like you're really, really strict. Like, I feel like you wouldn't be a cool dad. I feel like you're going to be that dad that's, like, always pissed off and, like, doesn't let his daughter or son do anything. All right, first of all, if it's a daughter, yes, I'm going to be strict. See? Yes, I am. You can't be that strict. Like, you need to have some type of leniency. I'm going to have leniency, but I'm not going to have my daughter out here looking like, you know, one of them ratchet little hoochie mamas. Obviously, we're I'm, not going to have our kids do like that. A lot that. of girls nowadays, they be looking too grown for themselves. They be acting too grown. They be, I know, but I'm I ain't going to have that. I feel like you're not gonna be a good father in that sense. Like, you're bro, really you're crazy. All right, stop saying that. Stop saying that, cause that's honestly that's upsetting me. How stop is saying, that stop you? saying. I'm just telling you the truth. I stop feel like saying you're not gonna be a good father. Stop. All right, see, that's what's upsetting me. That right there. Stop saying I'm not gonna be a good father because one, you don't know the type of father I'm gonna be. Two, I know the type of father I'm gonna be. Okay, and I can tell you what I will give you my word that I will give my kids the world. And I will always treat them the way they need to be treated. I will always love them the way they need, to be, they need to be loved. And I will always support them no matter what they do in life. And that's that. I don't feel like you're telling the truth. I really don't. Because you can say a lot of stuff, but when it comes down Bro, to it... Bro, you're saying all this, but mind you, who's the one that wants a kid more? Me. How? How do because, they want a kid more? Bro, you know I want a kid. You know that. And I always told you, I don't care if it's a girl or if it's a boy. I don't care. I prefer a boy just because I would like to do father and son stuff, but I can still do that with my daughter. See, that's what I mean. Yeah, if we have a daughter, you're not going to be a good father to her. How? I'm going to love Because you're going to be like, I don't want a daughter. Boop. That's what you're going to do. You're going to just all, give no, it to the curb. First of all, no. And I'm going to no, be won't. trying no, to be like no, the best mom I can be no, because I you're not going to no, want to be around her. No, I won't. Don't say that because no, I won't. Yes, sir. No, I won't. I will love both of my kids equally. If I had a son, I would love him just as much if I loved a girl. Like, it, it, there's no difference. I'm just saying I prefer a son because I would like to do things that I didn't have a father when when I was growing up. You know what I mean? I didn't have. I couldn't do certain things. I didn't go out in the front yard and play catch with my dad. My dad didn't talk. He didn't teach me like how to ride a bike and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That's stuff I want to do with my son. 
I can still do that with my daughter. But I see that you're talking about your son and not her daughter. Like, you're not talking about your daughter at Bro, like all. I just, what if we have a girl? Like I just said, I will love them equally. And what I can't do, what I can do with my son, I can do with my daughter. No, you can't. Yes, I can. If my daughter, if I want to play baseball, my daughter can play softball. If she so chooses to. I can still teach my daughter how to ride a bike. So, I can do a bunch of things with my daughter. I can have my daughter learn makeup, and I will gladly let her paint my face full of makeup. I will be sure? that father. But are you going to get excited for like holidays and birthdays for them and stuff like that? I don't get excited for my own birthday. I don't get excited for holidays. That's just me. Because me, I, I, to me, my birthday is just another day. It's not anything See, special. See, that just makes me feel I like just you're said, not going to be a I just father. said to stop saying that because that's honestly upsetting me. You got me like... Stuttering and all that is because I'm getting angry. Stop saying that, please. Like I said, I'm just that type of person. I don't like birthdays. I just don't like celebrating my birthday. I'm just not all for that. Well, anyone else? Anyone else? Okay, but anyone else, I go above and beyond. Your birthdays, I always try to make you feel as special as possible on your birthdays. His birthday, I be trying to make him feel as special as possible, even though he's just a dog. I don't care. Anyone else, I do the same thing. It's just my birthdays, personally. I don't like celebrating my birthday. That's just the way I am. Holidays. Holidays, I don't know. Holidays, I'm not excited for holidays because I feel like it's like, it's just a, like annoying, I feel. In my holidays opinion. are annoying? Kind but of, what if yes. your kids are excited for holidays? That's what's going to be different because I can imagine my kids being excited for the holidays. I can imagine them like, oh my god, Santa, this and that. Like, we can do that whole Santa Claus thing. And I know they're going to get so much joy out of that. And seeing that's going to make me happy. And that's going to make me happy for the holidays. Especially when the day comes, like Christmas and I get to see them like open up all the gifts and they think Santa Claus is the one who bought them. I'm, I think I'm everything just gonna be you're so saying right now is BS. How is that BS? Everything you're saying right How? now is BS. How? I really just think that you are not going to be a good father all and right, that's bro. it. Alright, whatever. That's it. Like, stop whatever, trying whatever. to deny it. Like, you're going to be a right. terrible father. You're going to be so mean to our children, you're going to lock them up when they're bad and you're going to make them stay in their room all day. That's the kind of that's the kind of dad I feel like you're going to be like. And also, I feel like telling you that this is a prank and I would never say that you're going to be a bad father because I know you're going to be the best father ever for our children. <laughs> Oh, you know you're gonna be a great dad. You know that. Let anyone seriously tell me that I will not be a good father and... You could just prove them wrong. I don't think anybody would ever say no. that anyway. Anyone else besides you, I would have fought. <laughs> I would like, fight me. Just fight me. Stop talking and just fight me. <laughs> Alright guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you guys did, don't forget to smash that like button and comment Team Janice in the comment section below because this one was a banger. Anyway guys, it is time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Hannah Rodriguez. Thank you so much girl for your love and support. Isaiah and I love you. If you want a post notification shout out, all you guys gotta do is like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn your post notification bells on so you're notified whenever we post a new video. Also don't forget to show us love on the gram because if you guys do not know, we do pull up post notification shout outs there too. You, give me you got angina. anything you want to say to them? You give me angina. You give me angina. That's three times I said it. Four times. Here we go. You give me angina. Dada, we got him. Hey, <sighs> we got Dada. Come on, bro. Like it's, it's, it's in the morning and you already got me hot. I'm sweating. That's my hot chocolate. I don't even want it no more.